If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. After making your desired Camera Raw adjustments in the Camera Raw dialog box in Photoshop, you can convert and save a copy of the Camera Raw file to many different formats if desired. Popular choices include DNG and JPEG, but you can also save the image as a TIFF, Photoshop document, or PNG too. However, only the DNG file type lets you save the original Camera Raw data and its adjustments as a file which you can open in the Camera Raw dialog box in the future to view and edit those saved Camera Raw adjustments if desired. The other formats are just standard image file formats or the Photoshop document file type. A DNG file or digital negative file is Adobe's proposed standard format for Camera Raw files. A DNG file can contain both the camera raw data and the camera raw adjustment metadata that determines how it should look. You can save camera raw files as DNG files instead of saving the camera raw adjustments as a separate XMP file. DNG files open within the camera raw dialog box in Photoshop, so you can process the raw data later if needed. To convert and save a camera raw file in Photoshop, Click the Convert and Save Image button towards the upper right corner of the Camera Raw dialog box to open the Save Options dialog box. If desired to use a Saved Convert and Save preset, select the name of the saved preset to use from the Preset dropdown at the top of the Save Options dialog box to fill in the saved settings from the preset. To specify custom settings, or settings you can save as a custom preset, select the desired choices in the following sections of the Save Options dialog box. To save the converted file into the same folder as the Camera Raw file, leave the Destination dropdown set to the Save in Same Location choice. Alternatively, to select a new folder, either click the Select Folder button or choose the Save in New Location choice from the Destination dropdown to open the Select Destination Folder dialog box. Then use this dialog box to navigate into the folder to set as the Destination Folder for the converted file. Then click the Select button in the lower right corner of the dialog box to set the folder location. The selected folder location then appears below the destination dropdown. The File Naming section lets you set the convention for naming the converted files. Use the dropdowns shown here from top to bottom and left to right to select the information to use to name the file from each dropdown menu. The information is added together as shown by the plus signs between the dropdowns to create the file name. You can leave the dropdowns blank if you do not need them. If you select any of the serial number choices from the drop-down menus, you can enter the beginning number for those serial numbers into the Begin Numbering field in this section. You can use the File Extension drop-down to select either an uppercase or lowercase file extension for the selected file type. Use the Format dropdown to select the file type to which to convert the Camera Raw photo. Your dropdown selection choice changes the fields that then follow in this dialog box. To save the Camera Raw file as a DNG, select the Digital Negative choice in the dropdown. If selected, you can use the Compatibility dropdown to set the Camera Raw compatibility level for the DNG file. To select the size of the JPEG preview image to embed in the file, use the JPEG preview dropdown. To embed a much smaller copy of the raw image in the DNG file to increase the speed with which the raw image is previewed, check the Embed Fast Load Data checkbox. Optionally, to reduce the size and quality of the DNG file if storing the raw image for archival purposes, you can check the Use Lossy Compression checkbox. 
However, do not check this checkbox for camera raw images used for print or production. If checked, you can select the type of lossy compression to use from the adjacent drop down menu. To embed the original camera raw file in the DNG file, click the Embed Original Raw File checkbox. Alternatively, if you select the JPEG, TIFF, Photoshop, or PNG choice from the Format dropdown, then choose which metadata to include in the file from the Metadata dropdown. Note that even if you include the Camera Raw metadata for these file formats, the Camera Raw editing adjustments are not stored as part of these files. To remove location metadata as part of the conversion, check the Remove Location Info checkbox. For JPEG conversion, then select the Quality Range from the Quality dropdown and or type a quality value into the quality field. Alternatively, to limit the JPEG conversion to a number of kilobytes, check the Limit File Size 2 checkbox and then enter the number of kilobytes into the adjacent field. For TIFF conversion, select the desired type of compression from the Compression dropdown. To preserve transparency if needed, check the Save Transparency checkbox. For Photoshop conversion, to preserve cropped pixels, check the Preserved Cropped Pixels checkbox. Also, if you select the JPEG, TIFF, Photoshop or PNG choice from the Format dropdown, then specify the settings for the file in the Color Space, Image Sizing, and Output Sharpening sections. To specify a Color Space profile for these conversion formats, use the Space dropdown. To set the Bit Depth, use the Depth dropdown. If needed to specify the file's intent, use the Intent dropdown. To resize these types of converted files, check the Resize to Fit checkbox in the Image Sizing section. Then use the adjacent dropdown to select the desired resizing method. Then fill in the values for the selected resizing method, which appear below the dropdown. To prevent enlarging the file when resizing, check the Don't Enlarge checkbox. To set the converted file's image resolution, Type a value into the Resolution field, and then use the adjacent dropdown to specify the value as either pixels per inch or per centimeter. To sharpen these types of converted files based on their output destination, check the Sharpen For checkbox, and then select the final output destination from the adjacent dropdown. Then use the Amount dropdown to set the amount of output sharpening to apply. After specifying the Convert and Save options you want, to then save the settings as a new default Save and Convert preset, select the Save Custom Preset as Command from the Preset dropdown at the top of the Save Options dialog box to open the Save Preset as dialog box. Type a name for the Convert and Save preset into the Name field in this dialog box, and then click the OK button. In the future, you can then select the name of this preset from the Preset dropdown in the Save Options dialog box to instantly apply the saved settings. To convert and save the file, after selecting or specifying the desired settings, click the Save button in the Save Options dialog box. In the future, after applying your desired file saving options in the Save Options dialog box, to bypass the Save Options dialog box when you convert and save camera raw files, hold down the Alt key or Option key for Macs on your keyboard, and then click the Convert and Save Image button. Doing this converts and saves the camera raw file using the last settings selected within the Save Options dialog box. Also note that for users who save the Convert and Save settings as a user preset, you can also easily save selected Camera Raw files using the saved preset settings in the Camera Raw dialog box. 
To save selected camera raw files using the saved preset settings, select the images to save within the camera raw dialog box. If saving multiple images, select them within the film strip as needed. Then either click the More Image Settings button in the toolbar at the right side of the camera raw dialog box, or click and hold down or right click the film strip button to show its pop up menu. In either menu, then roll over the Save Image or Save Images command, depending on the number of camera raw files currently selected, and select the name of the saved preset from the side menu of choices that then appears. Note that selecting the Save Image or Save Images command in this side menu of preset choices simply opens the Save Options dialog box if desired. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.